Muslim girl's family shapes her head over boyfriend and faces deportation. So there are two parts of the story. Um, first, there was the news of this incident. And then there's the news of the consequences that is happening to these people because of this incident. So um, a Bosnian Muslim family in France who severely beat and shaved the head of their 17-year-old daughter is set for deportation after their trial. The woman sustained abuse after she was engaged in a relationship with a Christian Serb. She had fled her family's apartment after they condemned talk of marriage to her boyfriend and upon returning faced brutal, abuse, brutal, brutal abuse by her mother, father, uncle, and aunt. Family members left her with a broken rib, multiple bruises across her body, as well as potentially permanent damage to her ears. The four family members involved in the abuse will be tried for violence against minors. Okay, so wait, if they get deported, wouldn't they, the children be deported with them? That's what's unclear about this news story was that's, how that, they're going to protect her. Okay, so they shaved the head of these girls. Just one. The, oh, one. Wait, as, mm -hmm. a, as what? Oh, because they had a Christian, because the, the Muslim girls had a Christian Christian boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. What is, what is up with the... Why do we not see, like, punishment for Muslim boys having Christian or non-Muslim girlfriends, right? It's, it's usually the other way around. Am I, like, noticing a trend here? Like, do we... See, Muslim parents don't seem to be punishing... I mean, obviously, it could be Ahlul Kitab. They don't punish their Muslim sons for having non-Muslim or westernized girlfriends, right? They do punish their daughters for having not Western or non-Muslim boyfriends. It seems like a, I'm not. Maybe I'm like maybe I need more data to back this up, but this is what it's coming up across like, right, to me. Somebody's well, saying like this is not a big deal because I, my parents shave. Look okay, here it is. Michael's saying, "Why is this news? My parents shaved my head religiously." Yeah, you're a you boy, Michael, Michael. You're a boy. I mean, I'm pretty sure girls having their head shaved is a much more traumatic. Ex like, is that yeah, Susanna? How are you? That's not it? even my problem with it. If your parents are forcing you to shave your head, I have a problem with that. Period. Right. Um, especially if it comes purely from a religious purpose and a dogma, right? I don't like that. Um, it, it, they are doing this as a form of abuse and a form of punishment. They are shaving her head to make her ugly so that right. she's unappealing to try to punish, shame her for her having a boyfriend, right? Right. Against that, her will. Against her will. Right. It's extremely abusive. It's a humiliation tactic that's so psychologically damaging. Although I do think you're right that it is, if I was making a generalization, hmm. it would probably be more psychologically damaging for a young girl versus a young boy because we do culturally place uh, value on women having beautiful hair. Yeah. Right. But Farah is saying the honor is heavily placed on females. Uh, Justin is saying all hair, is, all hair matters. You were saying uh, French hypocrisy. French shaved heads of women for sleeping with Germans. Yeah, but Not again, this, I don't know. No, but this is about this being a punishment. Okay, like you can shave your head if you want, but this is a punishment. But again, I'm I'm worried. Like if they're deporting the entire family, wouldn't they be putting these? Wouldn't be putting this girl in more harm's way if they now go to a country where they have more access to punishing hair the way they want? Um, that's what's difficult. Is I can't find information on what will be done to protect her. So part of what complicates this matters is that the um, asylum case or whatever for her parents had already been rejected. Um, th their, their refugee status had been rejected and they were set to be deported back already. But then because of COVID, that was delayed. However, her aunt and uncle did receive refugee status. But because of this incident, they, their case is now going to be reexamined. 
So they're at threat of deportation. Um, I'm really hoping that the government will be taking measures to keep her in the country. Uh, it's unclear to me what her refugee status is um, because sending her back with them is just going to make matters a lot worse. Yeah, a lot. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me just read some other comments. It's saying, yeah, more of a big deal if it's girls or both. Uh, you both say, Susanna, not recently, but it is not mentioned with the shame, with shame today. Okay, okay. Then was, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description uh which is to our newsletter so hopefully some of our, we could email it to you so hopefully you get some of our content that way okay so yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized. And that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So